What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse ranch, no hate. So, I want y'all to take a listen to this video. This is basically referencing what's going on with Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk, and basically this company. I'm going to let them speak and they'll explain themselves. But, it sounds like pretty much it's going to come down to Tyson Fury making his mind up if he wanted to make this deal or this company out in Saudi. Usyk just signed to this company, and at the end of the day, it's like uh, they pretty much are fed up with Tyson Fury. Now, we'll listen to the video, and pretty much, he titled the video, Tyson Fury to be offered take it or leave it deal for Alexander Usyk heavyweight undisputed clash. So, Let's see how this goes because the holdup has been for so many stories now and for so long that Tyson Fury is trying to be greedy. So let's listen to this. I have to be honest, right? I didn't know much about Amar Abdullah as a boxer. The only real interactions, not interactions, but only times I've really seen anything of him was basically on the Mayweather channel. They would go around back in the day, they probably still do, and they'd go around before a fight and take like boxers' opinions and trainers' opinions of upcoming fights and just put it on their YouTube channel for content. That's all I really knew about him. I knew he was an ex-boxer, never seen him box. Not even sure if he was like a world champion or if he reached any decent levels. I have no idea, I'd be lying if I said I did. But what I do know is he is now the face, the front man of Skills Challenge Entertainment. Obviously the company is owned and run by the Prince Khalid of Saudi Arabia, but essentially he needs someone to be his puppet and the guy he's chosen is Amar Abdullah. And I suspect we're gonna see a lot of this guy. He's gonna be the new Frank Warren, the new Eddie Hearn, the new whatever. We're gonna see a lot of him because he now, in theory, has a lot of power. He's got Alexander Usyk signed to him and he's gonna be making moves uh, with the backing of the Prince and Skills Challenge Entertainment. And he gave an interview or two yesterday. Obviously there was a signing of Alexander Usyk. They had that big, um, I don't even know what you call it, but the big show, the big press conference or whatever. And there's the world media was there. Boxing King Media was there. That's the interview that I watched. I think it was his one anyway. And Amir Abdullah basically had some things to say about signing Alexander Usyk, what the future holds, and how they intend to conduct business. First thing he made very clear to everybody, and he's like, basically, all these teams we've been talking about for this Saudi December kind of fight card they're thinking about or whatever, he made it very clear that no one had received a financial offer. And that was basically off the back of a question asked by the reporter guy about Eddie Hearn saying that Tyson Fury won $120 million. And Amir Abdullah basically said that in this round of negotiations no one has asked for anything and we haven't said anything and basically he's not he's not willing to talk about the previous negotiations also said that no offers will be made until these people's summer fights have been done and decided so anyone who's have a summer fight they're going to wait for the fights that take place and then make any offer to that so obviously you've got Alexander Usyk he's having a summer fight AJ is looking to be having a summer fight and Tyson Fury probably as well. So no one will be made any offers until after the summer fight. So Eddie Holmes saying that they can look into locking the, uh, the Saudi fight before they decide on a summer fight. That's all BS according to Amir Abdullah. Finally, and in my opinion, most importantly, he gave a quote to the media yesterday that suggests their intentions when it comes to Tyson Fury. And what it suggests is they have no time for messing around when it comes to Tyson Fury and they're not looking to play any of his games. Now, I don't know how serious they are because essentially they've promised, I'd imagine they've promised Alexander Usyk the undisputed fight and they're going to have to deliver it. So if they're playing hardball with Tyson Fury, it may cause a bit of a problem for them. But essentially what he said was Tyson Fury is going to be given one offer and one offer only. He either takes it or he leaves it. We're not going to get hung up on it. We're not going to play any games. He either fights or he doesn't. Now, that will be music to a lot of people's ears because Tyson Fury, obviously, with his antics, social media, whatever, his way he negotiates publicly, the way he makes things awkward sometimes or whatever, it's fair to say that he pisses people off more often than not. And it's just the way it is. It is the way he is. He's Tyson Fury and it is what it is, I guess. However, that being said, the Saudis appear to be serious business people. And that's why they signed Alexander Usyk and they didn't sign Tyson Fury. The prince made a comment that he appreciates Alexander Usyk's tone and um, a temperament or whatever, like outside the ring, if he appreciates the fact that he's not a loudmouth idiot. And what that in turn tells me is I don't think they like Tyson Fury very much. And I don't think they got much time for him. But however, he does hold on to that belt and he's the biggest name in the heavyweight division. He's probably the biggest draw in the heavyweight division. I mean, people will say that Anthony Joshua is a bigger draw. I'm not so sure. It doesn't even matter, to be fair. Like, I'm not going to lose any sleep either way, regardless of who's a bigger draw. I'm not a fan like that. I don't, I'm not invested in a boxer like that. But I am invested in boxing. This has a potential to become a very interesting scenario because if Tyson Fury gets his back up... Now, I, when I say that, I'm kind of referring to a comment that he made the other day where he was like, 
the Saudi, uh, sorry, the undisputed fight happens at Wembley or not at all. Well, if he's serious about that, then Saudi Arabia and Alexander Usyk aren't going to be getting that fight. And skills challenge and the same, and aren't going to be able to deliver that fight for Alexander Usyk. And on the other hand, they're saying if Tyson Fury asks for too much, we're not going to deliver that fight either. So I don't know how they're going to play this one. Tyson Fury, if he was serious about what he said about only happening in Wembley or whatever, then fair enough, then it's a problem. But we all know Tyson Fury isn't too serious. However, if he has picked up on the fact that there's a good chance that Alexander Usyk walked away from the negotiations for his fight because of this Saudi deal that he's signing now or just signed the other day, he's going to be annoyed because he, he, he may see it as the Saudis cost him his fight, his summer fight and cost him X, Y, Z. So if he comes to the table with an attitude thinking that they cost him the undisputed fight against Usyk because they intervened and basically signed Usyk and forced him to delay until December. So if Tyson Fury is clogged onto that fact, then he may play hardball and he may make it hard for them. Saudis have said it's going to be one off or it's going to be a take it or leave it kind of thing. But ultimately, if they've promised Alexander Usyk undisputed, or if the goal is undisputed, then surely they're at Tyson Fury's mercy to, to an extent anyway. So they can say they don't want it and they can say maybe we're going to make one off and walk away. But I think when it comes to it, if they make one offer and they get a counter offer, they may counter with another offer again or try and find a middle ground. I don't think it's going to be hardball like they're claiming but it is music to boxing fans ears because that's kind of what we need to hear when it comes to Tyson Fury everyone's getting a bit sick of it and we just went to fight in the biggest fights that's all I got for this one guys like comment share subscribe or don't I'll catch you on the next one love well basically I hope that they are sticking to their word they're going to make him one offer and that's it and if he doesn't want it they moving on if it's not for undisputed so be it at the end of the day, everybody is tired of Tyson Fury and his games. Everybody's tired of that. It's like his minions. Who can tolerate it? Well, that's from them, and that's with any fighter. But look at how long he's been holding that belt hostage. Look at how long he's just been holding onto this belt. Everything that comes down to Tyson Fury lately has been penny pinching. Everything. I want the lion's share. And it's, I mean, God damn, the dude, he doesn't want 50 50. Okay, he doesn't want 60 40. He wants 70 30. You know, he wants is like the guy is, is is he's he's really really just like a waste of space. And if he doesn't want to be on board and he doesn't want to make things happen, don't be fooled. See, that's the thing. Somebody need to bust Tyson Fury's bubble. Because what Tyson Fury is trying to make happen is just what this guy is saying. That's Fury's the way it seems that he's thinking is like they need me. Right? They're going to need me. They want big fights. Well, they can make other big fights without him. Now, he can hold off all he wants. What is he going to do? Fight some meatball? And where? And if he's saying it's, it has to happen in Wembley only. Now, according to this, what this guy is saying, well, then that's something Fury's going to have to deal with. Because the guy said they're saying they don't want to make any deals. Right now, they haven't offered anything and nobody's asked for anything. And that pretty much all of these guys are trying to fight in the summertime. Well, at least for, for um, Anthony Joshua and more than likely Tyson Fury too. I don't know if Wilder is trying to have a fight set up for the summertime. Well, we know that the talks that have been going on in, in, as far as making a heavyweight fight happen with, with, with two top guys has been between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. So... They're talking about an August date and then again in December. So you have to really, it will make more sense that they would end up fighting a lesser opponent, obviously, and then December will be the big fight. Now, for Anthony Joshua, he always says he doesn't want to fight a lesser opponent in where like he's, he's just fighting some guys to look good against, which I can respect that. So, again... You know, I don't know. Does he fight a guy like on that Zilly Zhang type level? Something like that, I guess. Because if you be real about it, well, we know Zilly Zhang is fighting, re, you know, rematching Joe Joyce. But I mean, someone like that, um, a Philip Erkovich, you know, somebody like that to lead into a stay busy fight so he can go into December and then have that big fight with Deontay Wilder. Usyk, more than likely from what I'm hearing, is going to fight Daniel Dubois because that's his mandatory. So if these guys fight on the same card, that would be great. 
That would be great if you had Dubois versus Usyk and, and whoever Anthony Joshua is fighting. If they had that on the same card, that would be great. Now, spin around and go to December. If you have Anthony Joshua versus Wilder, that's the main event. Now, if Fury doesn't want to be a part of any of these cards because he wants to be greedy and he, and, and he just wants to be difficult to work with and, and he wants to stroke his ego, move on without Fury. Boxing didn't start with him and it won't end with him. So, you know, yeah, hopefully that this company, you know, skills challenge, hopefully this promoter, hopefully these guys can 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 get the fights. And I did hear, you know, Usyk say he signed with them because they can get him the fights that he want. Now, he also said they can make the Fury fight happen. Yeah, it's not about them making the Fury fight happen. It's about Fury wanting to make the fight happen because the offer that they are going to give him, you, Every other fighter, you get to the point where it's like, okay, that's not enough. I just want more. It's a hell of a lot, it's a hell of a lot of money, but my ego and my stupidity says I want more. Go on without Fury. At some point, Fury's gonna want to try to play catch up at, somewhere. So who's he gonna fight? You know, he has to. He has to. Who is he gonna fight? They need Anthony Joshua. We don't want to see a fourth fight with you know Fury and Deontay Wilder for what? We wouldn't mind seeing him fight a Daniel Dubois or Joe Joyce. Of course, you want to see the Usyk fight or Anthony Joshua. So, who, who is he going to fight? A guy like F.A.? He's not, you know, is he going to fight Frank Sanchez? He's going to fight, you know, and, and, and Frank Sanchez, for, for Fury, would be a high-risk, low-reward fight because Frank is a skilled guy and just may be able to pull off the upset against, you know, pull, pull the win off. I mean, I don't even want to call it an upset, but maybe able to, maybe able to pull the win off against Fury. And... So who else is there? Because outside of those guys I said, there are no big fights. He's not, you know, we know the Andy Ruiz fight is not happening. He's not going to fight Joseph Parker because they're brothers all of a sudden. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. But they signed Usyk, and I don't know any other names that they talked about that's signed to this company, you know, that's big names outside of the heavyweight division. But, you know... Let's look at it this way, too. Usyk is 38 now. How long of a deal he signed to, don't know. When Father Tom starts to knock on his shoulder, tap on his shoulder, we don't know. Right? But these are fights that they want to make happen and as soon as possible. And for any fighter that walks around calling himself the champ, calling himself the best, they can beat anybody, nobody can beat me, but yet you are not willing to get in there and pretty much show it's all about every penny you can squeeze out that's ridiculous anyway tell me what y'all think talk to me in the comment section never fall in love with lies remember the truth brings hate out of people and i will catch y'all on the next video